Today, everyone understands the importance of data collection and analysis in logistics, commerce, and finance. It's something we come across at all times, while at a grocery store, doing online shopping, collecting rewards points, or taking care of online banking. In all these cases, data is collected, processed, and stored. The key to doing it safely is to have the right infrastructure. Today, we'll take a closer look at how it's done by visiting an extraordinary place, a Comarque data center in Krakow. Comarque is a Polish manufacturer of IT solutions, including industrial company management systems. The company operates globally, Comarch has over 80 offices in 30 countries worldwide. The company owns 16 data centers all around the world that store essential business data necessary for the operation of Comarch's applications. Potential clients can inspect how they work through a simple business meeting with a virtual trip through Krakow's data center. It is made possible by VR goggles. This technology is incredibly useful, as Comarque customers come from various parts of the world. But today we don't need VR goggles because we're on site to see firsthand how a data center works. Our guide is Piotr Chwandowski, a data center solutions consultant. We are in a data center aisle. Here we can see various devices and racks with all of the equipment. Piotr, please explain what this whole data collection and storage system involves. Imagine that by buying something uh, on an online store, we generate the transaction. Such transaction is through the telecommunication links and network devices is stored on the servers. For security reasons, every few minutes uh, the data is backed up and copied to the other uh, devices. Then we having uh, all transactions from the whole day, we make the daily backup. And once a week, uh, we make a weekly backup and monthly and so on. The constant hum you can hear is the air conditioning system, which maintains the ideal temperature to keep the servers running. In this case, it is roughly 22 to 25 degrees Celsius. A data center is more than its equipment. It's also the specialists operating it. The continuous operation of all systems is supervised by teams specializing in certain technologies that constantly cooperate with each other. Altogether, it takes several dozen high-class engineers to maintain full system availability at just this one Comarch data center. Failures are virtually non-existent. The guaranteed system availability is 99.99%, and if one occurs, it takes us only a couple of minutes to react accordingly. The foundation and guarantee of this security lie in power supply systems designed to ensure continuous server operation. For this reason, the Comarque data center is powered by several independent energy suppliers. There are also UPS systems which provide emergency power in case of a temporary blackout, with the option to extend it by adding more fuel. If there were any fire hazards in the data center, a detection system would be triggered, made up of, for example, temperature sensors. The system will also react if devices enter the alarm mode. In case of an actual fire, which has not happened so far, Dousing the servers with water is out of the question. The fire would instead be extinguished with FM200 or Intergen gas, which is safe for all devices. Let us take a look at how the server rooms are structured. The design of the building is in compliance with safety standards, including, among others, no windows, so that no unauthorized people can enter the building. This also minimizes all kinds of external threats, the data center is situated at slightly elevated grounds to secure its interior from potential flooding. Although all Comarch data centers are built away from floodplains by design. 
The data center in the other building, on the other hand, is located underground for additional protection in case of unexpected hazards that could affect the building. The Comarch data center is monitored 24-7 by the Global Operations Center, which provides non-stop control over the infrastructure of both the Comarch data center and that of its customers. Data collection and analysis are essential in the industrial sector. They facilitate the optimization of the manufacturing process and help with company resources, logistics, and employee management. Furthermore, they support the development of all kinds of innovations and products. Now, Piotr Chwendowski from Komarch will explain how a data center could potentially operate with a factory. Piotr, do industrial companies choose the kind of service you provide, or do they prefer to develop their own infrastructure? Many businesses prefer outsourcing just to focus on their core operations. They look for service providers who can manage and optimize their infrastructure with tailored solutions. What we note uh, is that outsourcing uh, services uh, are very common uh, last time. Cyber attacks are on the rise, threatening the security of such data. If the company does not take care of this, it must deal with the consequences. In case of such an attack or simplify uh, loss of data, uh, for any reason, the consequences can be very significant. This range from uh, financial losses caused by production interruptions, uh, supply shortages, uh, loss of financial data, to legal consequences caused, uh, for example, by leakage of personal data. Of course, in addition to financial losses, a company's reputations also suffer. It is a good idea to entrust the data collected by the company to specialists, because if such precautions are not taken, then unfortunately the consequences for the company may be dire. Piat, thank you for the interview. As we have seen in this episode, a data center is more than an ordinary place with servers on racks. It is a multi-layered, complex system designed to collect, process, identify, and authorize data. With the ever-increasing significance of the digital economy, places such as this will become more and more important. So, I am all the happier that, with so many companies providing such services globally, we have one right here in Poland.